Hey y'all, hope you're having a great day. I wanted to share with you a project today that started off a few months ago. Actually, I bought um, this piece of furniture over my shoulder uh, almost so long ago, I'm embarrassed to say, but it's been, it was last year sometime for sure. And I originally had planned on making it into a coffee bar to either keep for myself or to possibly sell. And I've decided that that's not the road I'm wanting to go down and I uh, just don't want to commit that much time to it. So this weekend, my husband and I cleaned out our garage, and I'm almost embarrassed to say this as well, that we hauled off several loads of stuff. Uh, just trying to declutter. It's amazing how much crap we can accumulate, right? So I have decided that I am going to do something with this cabinet. It was either haul it off to the dump, which it weighs a ton, and I know my husband was going to be upset not upset, but complaining the whole time if we had to do that. So I've decided I'm gonna use it in another way, not a coffee bar, but something that is garden related. Okay, first things first, let me give you kind of an overview of what we're talking about. It is an old fashioned, not like it was a hundred years ago or anything, but what was called a TV entertainment cabinet, which I know people are trying to give these things away now uh, in a lot of uh, Facebook marketplace ads or for very reasonable price. And um, like I said, we got this one last year from a person in a nearby town off of Facebook, off of Facebook marketplace. I think I paid 20 bucks for it. You can see I have already started or had started painting it black, which was the plan and still is the plan to paint it black on the outside. I don't think I have enough paint to do both the inside and outside, but I'll just point out to you that this thing is gaudy. I mean, it has so many ornate details on it that I would have never chosen this for my own personal home. I know there are some that are much prettier uh, that look like maybe cherry or whatever, but we're definitely gonna be painting it still. There's no doubt about it. So let me just open it up for you. Uh, the doors still work, still slide in, which is great. Uh, will give you access to whatever you're putting on the inside. Uh, you just have to keep be mindful if you're going to have shelving in this that if you put shelves inside, then you're not going to be able to close the door if it goes all the way um, back or all the way from side to side. So you see here, this part is a shelf. It actually still has the electrical hookup in it, which is, uh, you know, pretty amazing. Whoops, sorry for the tilt, uh, phone tilt there. Um, so it still has that. The backing is just that uh, cheap, thin particle board, I guess it's what it's called. I'm not even sure, but it's real thin where the TV cutout could have been. And then here on the bottom, we have two uh, cabinet doors that um, you can open and see that it is shelved in there. And it has a platform that it sits on. So it's actually in three pieces. The platform is one piece itself, the very bottom. Then it has the two door section here, which is another part. And then the top part is the third um, third piece of this piece of furniture. So what my plan is, is to paint this, uh, kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm gonna use kind of a bright color on the inside. Again, using paint that I already have, not to spend any money. I did take the knobs off of this uh, when I was painting it originally, cause they were, super gaudy and uh, gonna change those out and put it over in the corner. I plan on trying to store some of the things in this cabinet in the garage that don't need sun exposure that I could not really put in the greenhouse and store and just to kind of get things up off of uh, the other shelving in our garage. I want you to brace yourself for what I'm about to reveal. This is going to be the paint for part of the interior. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to cover both the top and the bottom interior cabinet, but at least the top interior. And this is the color I have in my house, in my office slash craft room. And I love it. And this is what I had left over. So again, uh, using what I have, I'm going to reveal to you the color. Oh my gosh, I know it's exciting. So 
let's get started on the interior. So the cabinet is not in the best position for me to show you, but um, this paint has been under my kitchen sink for quite a while. It's kind of thick. I have stirred it and stirred it and basically done the best I can with it for what it is. And I'm going to see how it goes on now. And I'll try and paint here in a section where you can at least see. I'm not going to obviously have you all stare and watch me uh, paint every section of this cabinet. If I had a small, ooh, that's thick. If I had a small roller br brush, I would be much better off, but I don't have one. I just have a large one, and I don't have enough paint, I think, to justify using one of my new rollers. Um, so I'm just gonna see how far this paint goes. I've got some other color options. I've got a navy blue and the black, and I have a tiny bit of the, I would call kind of a moss, Mm, sage green maybe that I'm going to be using the the green to kind of highlight those gaudy pieces on the front that I was uh, pointing out to you just a few minutes ago. The lighting is horrible but I did want to show you the inside. I was able to get just the top cabinet, uh, the top section of the cabinet painted. I actually did not get the base painted. Just the two side walls and that back thin wall is all I got painted with that pink before I ran out. And I just wanted to give you a little quick tip here. Sorry about the lighting issue, but um, if you're done with your paintbrush and you're going to pick it back up and use it again, I have found just to put it in a Ziploc bag and seal it up. It's great for uh, keeping your brush from having to clean it out. And uh, you can go all weekend like that and then come back and pick it up and it's fine. And another thing I have started doing is using these um, just cheap containers. These are rubber made and I'm gonna go in and try and clean these up to reuse them, but uh, to store the paint in. And you know, I got to thinking about this paint. Um, I'm gonna give it credit. I think this paint can or the can of paint that I had left was 11, maybe 12 years old that's been sitting under my kitchen counter. Uh, so I'm pretty happy that it even <laughs> was liquid enough to even make it onto a paintbrush. So that's where we're at so far. Okay, so it's the next day and I cannot tell you how much better I think this cabinet looks now with this coat of black paint on it. I even like the pink on the inside. I'm not very much of a pink girl, but I like it. It's not perfect uh, by any means. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm gonna put in the um, green highlights on these raised pieces. You can see I wasn't able to get uh, paint all the way into these cra cracks and crevices, but that's okay. I don't mind that. This again is gonna be a garage cabinet. I would have done a lot finer detail on it had it been going in my house or if I was gonna be selling it, but um, I'm going to be putting some knobs on the doors. I've got the first one on here already. Uh, this is uh, one from a yard sale. Uh, if I always saw cute knobs like that, I would pick them up and use them, maybe for uh, bird houses or sign holders or something. So uh, let's get these others on the uh, cabinet. All right, so the hole is already obviously in the door and um, all you've got to do, these little uh, knobs that just have the screw, I'm going to put these two white ones at the top and then some more color, colorful ones at the bottom. Um, just have to make sure that the knobs are long enough to... Um, actually hold. So, yeah, I think that looks pretty darn good there on that black. I know the sun's shining a lot here in the garage, but it's kind of a white with the black underneath it on that knob. So I've got two options here on the bottom cabinet. Uh, go with the one that was already on it, or go with the spares that I had in the closet and this is the other. They don't match. They're a little uh, different. So a little shabby chic. 
I think even though these are harder to reach, uh, like to grab the cabinet door, um, I think I'm gonna go with these just because they give it a little more color and something to look at there. So my husband and I have tried lifting this thing and putting it up on the other two platform pedestals, I guess. We've got the two, the base, and then the two cabinet one. But like I said earlier, this thing weighs a ton. So now we've called in backup <laughs> to come and help us. But I wanted to show you the uh, electrical cord that is there uh, that plugs into the wall. And we've also plugged in a uh, power strip that's gonna be inside there. Uh, we've had another cabinet setting up against this wall, so this is gonna be great because we've really never had access to this electrical outlet. Okay, with the help of my sister and brother-in-law, we finally got it stacked like it should be. So I'm gonna do some touch-up paint real quick on it and um, get some stuff inside of it. Okay, so it's time to reveal the final results of the makeover on this entertainment TV cabinet that we purchased. And I want to tell you that I decided not to go with any of the green highlights on some of these raised details on the cabinet. I just like the black, the solid black. I know it's kind of looking a little gray with the sun shining on it, but it is, it is black. And I've already shown you the knobs, so I just want to show you uh, kind of how the cabinet is on the inside, but... Um, maybe you can see the black here. Uh, if you've watched our greenhouse video, you know that I like painting things black because to me it makes them look so much smarter and richer. Um, just uh, makes them look better to me. This cabinet was kind of a yellowy white when we started, but here at the bottom, um, just wanna show you what I've got in here. Got a couple of pair of boots got some chemicals or some fertilizer there and then some pots and just to show you that this cabinet um, or this drawer pulls out so that's kind of neat and up here these doors open and slide back in And I have got some seeds here that I didn't put out. Got a, um, I call it my knee saver, <laughs> little padding there. You can tell it's well used from the dirt on it. Got a sprinkler, got a bowl here with some extra gardening gloves that I haven't used yet. These uh, we got from Dollar General last year at the end of the season. They were like a dollar a pair and I think we got them for, it was either 75 or 90% off. So we either paid a quarter or 10 cents a pair for these. So uh, you might keep an eye out for those at the end of the season at Dollar General. Same thing with these. They were originally 350. It was either 75% or 90% off on those and those are excellent gloves. Some chemicals there. Brought out like a, I call it a little kitchen two-tiered stand. Put some little um, envelopes there that I can put some seeds in to give away. Got some seeds here that um, I didn't get to use this season. And I know when it gets super hot out here, it's probably not gonna be great for the seeds, but uh, got some bug spray and some chemicals there. Um, rooting hormone, I won't go through everything. Put a sign up here. I'm not gonna go to the other sign that's up at the top because that's got our name on it, but a sweet fam family friend made that for us, actually two of them, and one of them passed away recently. So that's a special meaning for us. Um, but yeah, that's the cabinet and, um, I think I need to, uh, maybe work on this door here a little bit. I think one of the screws is loose on it. Maybe when we moved it yesterday, Eve hoeing it around, it got a little loose, but, um, just, uh, something for you to think about. Maybe reconsider if you've got one of these stuck in a guest bedroom somewhere or out in the garage. Um, it was, it was no cost as far as refurbing it. Everything was free. 
or at, we already had the stuff. I won't say it was free. At some point, I paid for it, obviously. But um, I will tell you that I'm thinking about maybe putting a shelf here in the back that goes up a little bit to add a little bit more storage. Um, you know, it's cute right now and clean, but we can certainly throw crap in there as we like and uh, utilize the space a little more. But just because it's utilitarian doesn't mean it can't be cute, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and um, let me know what you think. Um, I think this would have made a great coffee bar, but like I said, I didn't really have room for it in the house. Didn't really want to throw it away. Nobody would really take it because they're so gigantic. And um, I believe I told you earlier, we paid 20 bucks for this at a uh, yard sale or off of an ad off Facebook Marketplace, probably, probably, oh, at least a year ago now. So glad to get some use out of it and get it out of the middle of the floor of my garage. Thanks you all and have a blessed day.